morning all just got down the beach two hours from low water that's a bit nippy but it's lovely and sunny hopefully there'll be a few dabs and white in the boat rather than a nice few big dabs well I've got the usual setup two hook flappers on each rod I'll put one rod out about 50 yards and another one about 20 see how we go I'll change the distance to suit don't look any weed on the beach that might be alright today I can't see any weed at all well bait wise I got some salted prawns salted mackerel and some fresh mackerel I salted the, salted the prawns last night and they're tightened, toughened up lovely. They really go on the hook nicely, nice and firm. Fresh prawns are just so soft when they've been shelled. But we'll reel in a little while and give it a go. Well, I just reeled in for the first time. There's about three inches of red weed on the lead and up, but not a great deal at all, so that's a bit of a result. No weed, a bonus down here. Well, unfortunately weren't no fish but all the bait was left intact both the fresh mackerel the salted mackerel and the salted prawns are all st still on the hook haven't been touched so hopefully that'll be a few more fish near, near the slack water but there's only about an hour and a half to go fingers crossed eh well second cast and we got a dab first blood all right, that's a bit green and scabby in places, but it's nice to see a fish. That was on the fresh mackerel. Nothing on the bottom hook, but we'll get him back out and try again. Well, third cast is a bit better. Nice little dab on the bottom hook and a whiten on the top. The whiten fell, fell to fresh mackerel and the dab was on a salted prawn, so prove that fish will eat them let's hope we get a few more better dabs you can't beat a plate full of fresh dabs they're lovely well i'll get them back and cast back out again within about three minutes of being cast out the rod tips are rattling again there's another whiten on the old prawns this is whiten's gonna love the prawns as well It'll take long to get on them all right that's not a very big whiten don't get me wrong but it's January in it, that's a scratch a month. Be grateful for what you can get really. Roll on roll on the spring when there's a few more fish turn up. But I know I'll hook him, get him back and put a fresh bit of prawn on. Another five minutes after baiting up, rods start rattling again and that's a, another whiting on the bottom hook on the prawn. The prawns seem to be eight fish at everything today. Well this, this rod's only about 25 yards out, so I've had several fish in the last half hour on the inside rod, so I'm going to bring the other rod, it's about 60, 70 yards out, and bring that just on the beach, 25 yards out with this one. There's going to be more fish in the beach than anything. Look, I don't know if you can see it, move the weed. You can see the... Oh. You can see the prawn in his mouth. You seem to like these prawns. Well, I just reeled the rod in what was 70 yards out. I got a whiting on mackerel on the top hook and bottom hook with the prawn on his bear. But as I'm getting more fish tighter in and I'm getting no weed tight in, I might as well move this rod to 25 yards out like the rest of like the other one. Just make it easier. No picking a weed off the lead or not. So. We'll get this fish back and bait it up and back out again. Both my rods will be fishing short. Well, it's now slack water. Another whiting on the bottom hook. This time I put some salted mackerel on the bottom hook. Producing like the salted baits. I caught more on the salted mackerel and prawns than I caught on the fresh mackerel. But I'll get this back and bait it up and hopefully get a few more fish over the slack. Well, the weeds dropped off but I'm fishing short and it's easy fishing in it 25 yards out quick to reel in not much weed happy days that's another little whiting on the prawns doesn't seem to be getting nothing on the fresh mackerel hardly but prawns fishing all right 
getting more on the prawns and the salted baits I am fresh, what surprised me. Hopefully there'll be a few more dabs on the start of the flood. Be nice to see. I'll, I'll, I'll unhook this one now and get it back and bait up and give it another go. Well, it's now about an hour and a half past the low water. Once the tides start making that, then the swell then get over Scrooby Sandbank. And obviously then you get the swell ashore on the low water. The tide drop and all the swell break on Scrooby. But as you can see now, there's a bit of swell here. Bloody typical, isn't it? When, as soon as I start videoing, the swell sort of disappear. A sod store for you, innit? <laughs> well, first hour in the flood, that was a little bit quiet, and now I've just got a double hookup. Like one's a pin white and, and the dab's a bit green and scabby, but doesn't matter what it is this time of year, when you're scratching, anything's grateful. The bottom one was on the salted prawns, and the top one was on a bit of fresh mackerel make a change, I've had hardly anything on fresh mackerel today but we'll get this baited up again and back out and hopefully get some more nice dabs that's what we need well that's another little whiten that's on the top hook, that is salted mackerel and there's nothing on the prawn on the bottom because there's no prawn left but we just need a few more bigger ones I haven't seen a good whiten today yet they all seem little old pins so we'll get this back Bait it up and back out again. Hopefully the fishing will pick up now the tides through. There weren't very lot, weren't a lot of fish on the start of the flood. Well, now the flood's totally through us, a couple of hours past slack. We thought I'd try whacking one of the rods a little bit further out, 70, 80 yards, but unfortunately it just come back full of weed. There weren't no fish on it either, so I'll we'll put them back in short. If there's weed outside and no fish well you've got to base it on what you've been catching so you've got to go back in short save all the weed and get a few fish all right i've had nothing worth waiting about or taking them but a few fish on a scratching day is definitely better than no fish well now it's get on for mid tide even the rig and the Hooks all covered in weed now, so it ain't looking very good. And that's only fishing 25 yards out. So I'll clean this weed out and give it another couple of casts and see how it go. But if everything's getting covered in weed, you're not fishing effectively at all, are you? Even though there's tons of weed, I just weeped out a little tiny dab. That's on the bottom hook and on salted mackerel. So I'll have another couple of casts and see how it go. You know, still have a few bigger dabs though. They seem very few and far between nowadays, unfortunately. I think the seals are at most of them. Well, would you believe it? I said I used to catch a lot of coddling on prawns years ago. And look what's just turned up. A lovely little coddling. And what's in his mouth? A prawn. People say prawns isn't no good. They don't catch much, but they just prove otherwise. I've had nearly everything on these prawns today. Well, salted prawns and salted mackerel. But it's lovely to see a little codlin. I'll get him back now, but what a lovely thing to see. Brilliant. Really chuffed with that. I wasn't expecting it, but that proved they like the old prawns. Well, after I've got the codlin, I have two more casts. Now it's the middle of the tide and the tide's racing. I just kept filling up the weed. That was a waste of time, but I'm so chuffed with that little problem. That weren't very big, as only probably a foot or so long. But just to get one nowadays is absolutely superb. I feel like an excited little kid at Christmas. Well, that's the end of another session. Really chuffed with that. I like to say I'm going to get a lot more codling, but that's my third session in a month beach fishing and that's the first coddling I caught in donkey's ears but then again the rods don't catch nothing sitting in the shed do they well hope you enjoyed that and seen a little unicorn I was well chuffed and I'm well made up with that I just proved that supermarket baits are good if they're treated properly 
all they need is a little bit of salt to toughen them up but hope you enjoy watching the video and i'll see you all next time have fun boys and girls cheers for watching bye